knock his knuckles. Hello everyone and welcome to the Q&A video that I think I announced it about two weeks ago. I'm not entirely sure. Again, I tend to not remember the exact day that I upload certain videos. Um, so here it is. This was the Q&A video for reaching 300 subscribers and now we're at 400. And again, it's just wild. The fact that there was this much growth with the channel in the past three months and I, I can only do one thing and that's thank every single one of you who has come by and who has subscribed to the channel you guys are all awesome so with that without further ado let's start with the Q&A the first one's from Redbird 36 if you guys know him he's the one that made the intro for for this channel the uh, low poly 3d knuckles good stuff his question is is this channel your secret persona type of deal apart from the Game & Tank one? Um, so for those who don't know or who are only subscribed to this channel, I actually have a, what I consider a main YouTube channel. Um, this is actually supposed to be a side channel, but my main channel is uh, Game & Tank and that's where I do um, first impressions, reviews, editorials, other stuff that comes up to my, uh, that comes in mind. And it's it's just based around any kind of game that I can think of stuff that I'm interested in covering stuff that um, that I just look at as like hey that would be interesting to talk about so um, that is the channel that I worked on for gosh since I, w I would say since 2011 but it's technically since the end of 2012 because from 2011 to about October 2012 I had no idea what I was doing like I was just goofing off and not really didn't really approach the channel with a plan, so that was the thing with that. Anyways, is it a secret persona? Absolutely not. This is just me wanting to get more into the Sonic series, it's just that I didn't know exactly how, and doing just straight reviews probably would not have the best... Um, I don't know. It, it's different. I mean, it gives me an opportunity to be like, hey, you know what? There are certain Sonic games that I have not played, which is actually true. There is probably a good amount of Sonic games I've never played and this channel is one of those reasons that I can get more into the series and from what I've played so far I'm having a good time uh, maybe not for Sonic the Fighters but I'm having a good time for the rest of it um, so no it's not a different it's not a secret persona it's basically as if you've come from the Game & Tank YouTube channel it's basically if Game & Tank did Sonic content that's the whole point of the channel there's no persona there's none of that stuff no secret persona uh, I will not RP as Knuckles or anything. It's just myself covering Sonic content. That's what it is. The question from Let's Kick It, Let's a Kick It Old School. Wow, I said that right. Awesome. Do you like Kirby games? Well, I've only played about. I think I've only played three Kirby games. That is Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Dream Land, and Kirby's Dream Course. Adventure and Dream Land, I really did like. Those were fun games. Um, I would need to get more into the series if I ever wanted to have like a fully informed opinion on it and play stuff like Superstar, uh, some of the other Dreamland games, maybe something that's come out on Nintendo Wii. Um, there, I, I think there's like a Robo something on 3DS, I don't remember the name of it. So from what I've played so far, yes, I enjoy the Kirby games. The Side Quest Gamer, re oh, I'm sorry, the Side Quest Gamer Review Show asks, First off, he says, congrats on hitting 300 subs. Thanks. Thank you so much, Alec. As for my question, will you marry me? Pac-Man 357 and Knuckles featuring War Turtle asks, do you chuckle? Um... No, you see, that's not how it works. Sonic chuckles. I'd rather flex my muscles. Just, you know, letting you know. RJM Lab asks, Okay, he's got a joke question. What is your foot size? D do I really have to answer that one? Um, I I'm just going to keep that answer to myself, okay? And his second question. What outcome of Sonic Forces would shock you the most? Mm, what would shock me the most is if... Hmm... Huh, Maybe if every zone was just like Green Hill, like if it was linear and, in a way, kind of looking boring. Like, if the game was just... I mean, it could shock me either way. One, it would be an amazing game. 
or if the game was awful. Like, either one of those would shock me. Because right now, my expectations for Sonic Forces is it's going to be okay at best, and at the most, it'll be a good game. But it, I, from what I've seen and from what I've seen from the Nintendo Switch Japanese demos, this game can probably not pass being just a good game. It, I don't think it'll be a great game. And I'm hoping it doesn't become a horrible game. It's just in between. I think it'll be decent to good at, you know, that's how I think it's going to be. His other question is, how did you meet Alec and the gang? Um, hmm. Okay, well, this all goes back to before the, the existence of this channel. Again, for those who don't know, I run another channel called Gaming Tank, and it's where I did my reviews and editorials and stuff I explained earlier. Uh, I met Alec through a YouTuber called... Um, had named Exo Paradigm Gamer. Um, I found his channel like a long time ago when I was looking for uh, Super Mario Brothers reviews. I don't know why I was looking for it. I was just curious to what I'll see, and then I ran. I came across his remake or rebreak series, and I can't exactly remember how I started talking to Alec. I think it might have been through Twitter, and, um, and by the rest of the gang, he means the guys like Jay's reviews, Retropolis Zone, um, Twip. Uh, Black Hooded Gamer, uh, Ride Rule, uh, with those guys, and I, to all of you, I apologize for just name dropping all of you, but someone's curious, okay? Um, I met Jay through a Skype call that Alec brought me onto. It was with a group of people. Um, I remember Jay was there. I remember two other people that are on Alec's server were there as well. I cannot remember everyone who was on there, but I do remember Jay was there. Um, so that's basically how I knew Jay, and then I also started watching his Let's Play channel, Jay's Let's Plays, uh, where it was him, Alec, and Exo doing commentary over Mega Man 4. Um, everyone else, it's kind of a blur, because to be honest, I didn't really know the others that well. Uh, I remember hearing things about the Black Hooded Gamer being kind of... Like, the joke was that he was an EXO fanboy, so... Um, I think everybody else, it was just through... Um, it was through Skype. Uh, I don't exactly remember how. I think, I think it was just being brought into Skype calls. I think that's how it was. Or, at this point, now it's Discord. It's probably how I met um, Twip and how I... I mean, that's basically how it's always been. It, I don't think we interacted too much on Twitter um, at first. I think it was just all stuff done through Skype and Discord. So, to my knowledge, that's how I met the rest of them. But Alec, for sure, it was through Twitter. And Jay, for sure, it was through Skype. And then the others, it was either Skype or Discord. Depending on, on who it was. So, thank you. Sonic Inside Out asks... Who is your favorite Super Mario character? Probably Luigi. Uh, whenever I played Super Mario The Lost Levels, or whenever I played Super Mario Bros. 2, the US version, I always played as Luigi because he had the higher jump. I know he wasn't able to stop as fast as Mario was, but I felt that I can probably ignore that. So I always played as Luigi. I don't know, it's weird. It, it depends on what game it is, because if it's like a platforming game, it's Luigi. If it's a, a racing game, it's Koopa Troopa. Uh, so I'll just say Luigi, because I'm pretty sure that's what, you mean, what you're asking, like, of the main characters. So, thanks for the question. Sonic Studios asked, who is your favorite Sonic character? Big the Cat. Blaze the Cat. Um... I don't know any other cats. No, actually, it is Knuckles. The name is not just a coincidence. I actually do think Knuckles is my favorite character. So, there you go. Sire, Seer Maniac. I'm sorry, I've never figured out how to pronounce your name, but I'm giving it a chance. Seer Maniac asks, first off, he says, congratulations on 300. Thank you so much. And his question is, where's that collab? That cool lab. I, I'm, I'm, I hope you don't mean abs, because that is a thing I do not have. 
I am just joking. Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, the way things have been as of late, getting videos done. I, I mean, as you can tell, my uploading is just kind of whenever I have the video ready. And if I record in, if I record in bulk, then it's usually one after another. So it's like because I'm in school, it is pretty tough to record during the week, especially when it comes to collaborations. So um, I don't know. We can probably work something out. Who knows? And finally, Master Wayne asks, Question, should this be the 400 sub Q&A? Almost? Well, I mean, it's being released as one. I don't know. Uh, go check out the mid-level boss. Bunch of cool guys. They love their Sega Genesis. I did notice that. They do love their Sega Genesis, so... A good channel to check out. I've made a video on there before. Um, it was a Mega Man X video. So, uh, and who knows, there might be a future video that might be Sonic related on that channel that might have myself maybe recording voiceover for or doing the whole video itself. Who knows? That may or may not be in the plans. I feel like I'm saying too much. I'm definitely saying too much. Anyways, that's going to do it for this Q&A. Uh, I want to thank you all so much for, um, for those who ask questions. I want to thank everyone for watching. And um, I want to leave... I want to end the video on one more thing. Uh, I've noticed that on some videos there is a very high amount of um, of comments that I receive, and that's not bragging or anything. I'm just curious. Um, okay, I've been kick I've been thinking about this. I've been going back and forth about this. If I were to open up a Discord server, would it be worth? I don't know. Joining? Would you guys like to join it? I, I'm not. I have. I don't have the server set up or anything. I don't have any of that stuff set up. I'm just curious. I kind of want to get some uh, feedback from it. If I were to make a server, would it be worth joining? I'll leave that to you guys. Just let me know down in the comments below. And with that said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope I put some interesting gameplay in the background. I'd be very disappointed if I didn't. <laughs> with that said, thank you all. And I'll catch you in the next one.